Okay, everybody, here we go. It is me, Gregory Manorino, Tuesday, April 11, 2023. Before you even get started, uh, I want to talk about a very, very interesting phenomenon here that's occurring. Let's talk about what we know. We have a situation here where liquidity is drying up despite the fact that central banks including the Fed, quite obviously, are pumping the system more so than ever before. This is setting up a very interesting set of dynamics here, and, and that's what we need to pay attention to. This so-called uh, rate tightening cycle, uh, you know, central banks raising rates here for many, many months has done absolutely nothing, zero to stop inflation or reverse inflation. It was never meant to do that. You know that. If you've been following this blog, we talked about it since day one. But what it is doing, and we talked about this a lot lately, and yesterday I covered it, is it's not allowing small businesses here in the United States and around the world to access the credit they were able to before. Okay, you know what this is all about, a fulfilling of the corporate agenda. They don't want competition. It's a wipeout of U.S. small businesses, small businesses around the world, and a wipeout of the consumer. So here's the setup here. Let's put this together. I was pondering this earlier today. Now, we also understand, you and me, at least I hope so, that inflation has nowhere to go but much, much higher. Here's the paradox, all right? Situation is central banks pumping the global debt market higher and higher and higher every single day. And no matter what they do, they can never make it truly liquid. You understand? It's, it's a phenomenon where um, the debt must be vastly expanded exponentially. It can never be made whole, no matter what they do. Honestly, that's the truth now. So we have that situation here. Meanwhile, we have credit availability dwindling and a situation that is creating this full-on liquidity crisis that we're in. Again, no matter what they pump into the system, it can never be enough. So there's your liquidity crisis. This is also a setup here. Okay, I think you know where I'm going with this. At least I hope so. Uh, to much, much higher inflation, and we know that's coming, okay? They can, they can tell us any fable, any story, uh, whatever they want. Inflation is going much higher. And again, look, do you really believe that central banks don't realize what they're doing here? Kind of like how they missed the, the banking crisis, the small and regional banks, even though the Federal Reserve knew it back last November, they did nothing about it. No, they're allowing these things to unfold. It's going exactly according to the plan they have laid out here again the creation of a new feudal system, a wipeout of an entire class of people on a global scale. Why do you think they're, they're, they're uh, lessening the availability of credit to consumers and to small businesses? Do you see what I'm talking about here? The big institutions, you know, the Microsofts, the Apples, they don't really care. They have hordes, hordes of cash laying around. They can weather anything here. But small businesses, the consumer, they're getting strangled to death, to death, literally, pushed to the lower rung of society, make, make, being made dependent on the system. You all know this. Okay, we've covered it since like forever. Looks, let's look over here at the market. The driver, the 10-year yield here, stable. The illusion Looks like it's becoming real, at least for now. And you know what this has been doing, driving cash back into the stock market. We can't even have a normal correction or a normal pullback anymore. Um, it's, it's really quite a, a phenomenon to see play out. You have, we have a managed market. Uh, there's nothing real about it at all. So stability here in the debt market is being maintained. This morning, the relative strength of the dollar is lower. Gold and silver catching a bid. Cryptocurrency is doing very well. Bitcoin back over 30,000. Crude oil slightly higher as I'm doing this video blog. Um, that's where we stand. With regard to crude oil, with regard to energy people, I'm just going to say it again. Um, much, much higher prices are coming 
and that means much higher prices for everything is coming again. It's going to waver around. It could drop first, but it's going higher. That's the trajectory here, along with the Fed's balance sheet, which is, I don't care what they're trying to tell you what's going on here in the short run. I showed you that chart. It's, uh, it's ballooning along with the global debt. What have central banks chosen to do? What have central banks chosen to do at all costs? Inflate. Inflate or die. And that's why we're going to get what we're getting here. And um, again, where's the revolt? Where's the revolution? Where are the people taking to the streets? They're nowhere. You know, you know why, right? Because there's too many people dependent on the damn system. All right. Now, with that said here, I want to bring something to your attention here that um, <laughs> it's, it's almost laughable, but let's do it anyway. In fact, it is laughable. So the FDA, uh, the FDA commissioner wants you to know that life expectancy here in the United States, and I would assume they're referring to this on a global level here, life expectancy is dropping because people are being told false information about certain things that you must have to increase your life expectancy. Meanwhile, not even a syllable, not a word about how we're being poisoned to death by these food producers here who are working in tandem with pharmaceutical companies so they could pump you full of anti-diabetic drugs, anti-hypertensive drugs, and everything else that you could possibly imagine here. We're being poisoned to death. That's a fact. Anyway, I just wanted to get that out here just real quick. Um, so what do we know is happening? <laughs> I'm laughing again. It's crazy. What I would say is the biggest effort we've ever seen, ever seen, to maintain the illusion of stability in the debt market. And that is opening up, or at least they're trying to open up a doorway or a pathway for cash to make its way into the stock market, despite the fact that we have a global economy that is in free fall. Don't take my word for it. Listen to the IMF here. IMF is talking about global GDP being cut in half moving forward here. Uh, global economies f falling at their fastest pace ever on record inflation continuing to surge out of control and if again if you think we're done here you don't know what you're looking at and i know for a fact that every single one of you that follows this blog has a very very good handle on what's what's going on this is why you you know we're never going to deviate from our plan bidding against the debt becoming our own central bank holding hard assets Physical silver, my favorite asset of all time. If you're new here, I want you to look at the Dow gold ratio, gold silver ratio. You'll see why I'm talking about these kinds of things. I want you to think about gaining exposure to commodities, as I've been explaining since like forever. I put out multiple um, publications in my free newsletter um, where I covered several ETF, ETFs, exchange traded funds, which will allow you to have exposure to commodities moving forward. There is a link in the description of this video to my free newsletter. I hope you're taking advantage of that. Um, what else can I tell you, people? I want you to keep this in mind here, really honestly. And I want to hear from you on this. So if we understand, if we understand that the real reason and we're not being told this by anybody. I don't know who else is talking about this on YouTube, okay? Where well, you can get real information, okay? But the FDA, they say, oh, no, you're getting all fake information from YouTube. Oh, no, it's all fake here, but it's real. CNBC, Bloomberg, Fox, so that's all real. It's all 100% real, but this is fake. Um, anyway, so what I want to hear from you about is, being that you and I understand that this, the reason why central banks have been raising rate is really only to is actually only to lessen the availability of cr availability of credit to small businesses and the consumer um and subsequently small businesses and the consumer are getting decimated here uh well large businesses and you know of course the uh s p 500 companies and dow components they're all doing fantastic here because they have the ca a cash hoard to weather the storm when is the revolt happening? When are people going to start waking up to what's happening to them? Or are they just simply dead? Uh, and they're just going to remain in their mindless slumber until they're all systematically erased. Personally, I think it's the latter. Um, they're just completely done. 
Keep your eyes on the debt market. Watch that 10-year yield. Watch the relative strength of the dollar. Better yet, keep your eyes on the MMRI, Madam Rita Market Risk Indicator. Free to you, free to me, free to everybody. Link in the description of this video. People, we covered a lot here. Um, what do you think about the FDA, by the way? Uh, this, the, the, how they're trying to scare people. Again, what do they do? Fear. Fear is the greatest control mechanism tool on the face of the earth. So the FDA is saying, Channels like this are giving you fake information, especially on this. Oh, yeah, you, you better ignore all of us because you need to get this to extend your life expectancy. Yeah, uh, but again, not a talk, not, not even a word about the poisonous food that they're, they're, they're feeding us here as we become uh, dependent on the big pharmaceutical companies. It's insane. It really, really is, people. All right. This guy here loves you a lot. I mean that from the heart. Please comment. Please share the video. I will see all of you for my live stream, 105 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's all.